Well, hey, Hampton Roads. Today's Kelly Can is going to be a little bit different. It is hurricane season, and one of our viewers suggested that we see how to pack an emergency preparedness kit. So we're going to see if Kelly Can do that today. I'm here at the Red Cross in Norfolk, and I'm going to bring in Holly Qualia, the Disaster yes. Services Coordinator here at Red Cross. Hey, Kelly. Hello. How are you? I'm well. Awesome. I've <laughs> never packed. It, how did, what's the official name? A disaster relief kit? I don't know if there's an official name. We okay. call it a disaster supply kit. Okay. So the supplies that you would have in an emergency to meet your needs. Okay. I've always heard canned food mm -hmm. and water and batteries and a radio. Yes. Is that... It. Those is are four parts it? of it. Those okay. are four parts of it. So there is a lot more, and it really depends on you, your family, your household. There's a lot of factors that go into it. So we're going to break it down for you. What okay. goes into a basic disaster supply kit? So you got down four of them, but there's a lot more. Oh, that is a longer list. It is a longer <laughs> list. Yeah. I like that you're faithing me. You already have it up there. I, I do. I'm going to proclaim it. We're going to speak it as though it already is. All right. So there you go. Good. All right. So there are some things that you would definitely want to consider, at least for your basic disaster disaster supply kit. Okay. Water, food, non-perishable food. You don't want to put some eggs in there and milk and then have it sitting in there over the summer. Ew. Kind of gross. Yeah. And can opener, hugely important. Oh a lot of people get gosh. the canned food and they have no way to open it. I would have never thought of that. Exactly. Actually. <laughs> then you also have, of course, your first aid kit. We are the Red Cross. It's hugely uh. important. <laughs> Tools. Tools. Anyway. Kind of thinking forward. What, what may happen that I may need a resource for? Duct tape. Everybody loves duct tape. <laughs> duct tape can solve all your problems, basically, so true. When in a disaster. Clothing and bedding. Okay. Always have a clean pair of clothes so that you're not going to wear every day something that's already packed away just in case. Okay. Prescriptions and non-prescription medications. A lot of people don't think about that. What happens if you have to go out of town, you forget to grab your medication, right. and you want to keep it current. You don't want expired medication in your disaster kit. So you kind of got to keep it refreshed. Cash and coins, something people don't always think about. Uh -huh. If the electricity is out, how are you going to pay for belongings? So you want cash and coins. And the thing is you want small cash, or at least a variety of it, because you just you want to be safe. You don't want to have somebody say, okay, that's $2. You pay with a 20 and they say, oh, sorry, you only gave me $2. Right. You want to have small dollars just to be safe. I like it. Sanitary supplies, of course, as well. Uh -huh. You may be out in the wild. You may be in home. But um, sewage may not be working properly. Your the plumbing system, anything like that. So you want to have a backup plan for that, too. And, of course, important documents. A lot of people don't think about that mm -hmm. is what, what do you need documentation of? Your mortgage statements or your insurance statements, right. birth certificates, mm -hmm. uh, marriage licenses, anything of that nature, yeah. what do you what do you have that you want to make sure is kept safe? I'm guessing, are there different kind of bags, or do you need to put this in a big box, or how deep should it be, how shallow should it be? Different options, I guess. Dif and th that's exactly it, different options. Okay. How strong are you? What's more comfortable for you? Are you more comfortable toting around a backpack, or possibly putting all your belongings into a, a plastic bin? Oh, wow. A big bin, a small bin, it just really depends on what is going to be suitable and most comfortable for you to carry. All right, I guess now it's time to just go down the line and finish packing my disaster emergency preparedness kit. Yay. Ta-da! Well, Holly, thanks for all the inside info. I guess we have to ask now, can Kelly build a disaster kit? As we already said, Kelly can build a disaster supply kit, and we're so excited to have you here today. Treat for the road. A treat for the road. Treat for the road. It's my mojo. Oh, yes. Right. Thanks, Adios. Kelly. See you later. <laughs> good job, Kel. Very good. Yeah, it's something we should all be doing, actually. Absolutely. Have one year-round, because mm -hmm. you never know when an emergency will hit. Yep. And don't forget your pets. Mm -hmm. um, we want to know what else you want our girl here to try. Send us your challenges <laughs> for Kelly Can to the Hampton Roadshow.com. Yeah, good job.